So let us talk a little bit about oxygen concentrations in the ocean. It's dissolved oxygen. And most marine animals, marine species, require a certain minimum amount of oxygen. Otherwise, they would die. Okay, it's called lethal oxygen concentrations. And there's a graph here based on uh, observations, okay, including lab experiments and stuff like that. So what's shown here is for four different groups of how much oxygen is required to avoid that a species is killed. Okay? So, for example, you can see fish here for a fish species. And there's a, uh, the x axis shows you the lethal oxygen concentrations. The unit is micromole per liter. Okay? And then you can see a diagram. Okay? Now, tell you first what this diagram means. This is a box and whisker plot, okay? In order to create a plot like this is you use all your data and sort them according to the value. Okay, the small values on the left, the largest value on the right, okay? And then you can separate it into quarters and one thing that you can do first of all you can see the absolute minimum and the absolute ma maximum so for example for fish here now with the mouse uh, activated for fish you can see a there are some species which can survive at a relatively low value of less than 20 micromoles per liter okay Whereas all species survive, if you are at the maximum side here, if there is more than, say, 90 micromoles per liter of dissolved oxygen in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, half of the species, and this is the, the central line here, half of the species are killed if you have a concentration of around 45. Okay. And this is for fish. Okay. And... The other quarters are also shown by the end of the box. So you can see the three quarter limit is here, the right uh, face of the box, and the one quarter limit is on the left side of the box. Okay? So that helps you to, for example, see that 50% of your species is actually within that range uh, shown, shown in, the, uh, in the box. Okay? That's for fish, and that's probably because there's different type of fish and different type of the sensitivities to oxygen. You can look at crustacea, much larger range, and crustacea includes familiar animals such as crabs, lobsters, crayfish, shrimp, krill, and barnacles. Okay, you can see, but you can see that half of these species uh, die if you have a concentration of something like around 60 micromoles per liter. You can do it for bivalva. Bivalva, uh, let's see what it says here is a class of marine mollusks including clams, oysters, cockles, mussels, and scallops. And you can see the range here, and then you have a gastropoda class including snails and slugs. Okay. So, what you learn from all of that is that you can, you should remember a typical threshold for hypoxia, which means the killing of marine animals due to low oxygen concentration, it's about 60 micromoles uh, per kilogram, okay, which is, which is similar to micromoles per liter here, 60 range. And you can see that all species is, is influenced by that. Other units are milliliters per liter or micrograms per liter, okay, so it's, it's sort of the threshold is two milligrams per liter. So you always have to be careful with the units a little bit. If you look at, at, uh, at maps, okay? So you'll learn a little bit about oxygen concentrations. And so let's have a look at how, uh, what are the typical oxygen uh, concentrations uh, in the open ocean. 